stretching for almost a mile and a half across China's Yangtze River, the Three Gorges Dam plays a vital role in the comfortable modern lifestyles many people across the globe have come to enjoy in the 21st century. You yourself most likely depend on the dam for much of the food you eat, the medicine you take, the clothes you wear, and even the technology you're using to read this article. But how is a river in China so important to people's lives on the other side of the world? Let's take a look at exactly what's going on in the Yangtze River Economic Basin. If the Yangtze River Basin was a sovereign nation, it would have the third largest economy in the world. It's home to over 550 million people, many of whom live in the 175 cities scattered throughout the basin. When construction on the dam began in 1994, the project was hailed as a magnificent feat of engineering and a monument to national pride. However, the dam has been plagued with criticism due to its effect on the environment, its god-awful appearance on an extremely beautiful patch of earth, and its overall inability to truly control flooding the way the government promised it would. Furthermore, many fear that the dam faces structural problems that could lead to a devastating all-out collapse that would have repercussions the world over. Total collapse would begin around 15% of manufacturing worldwide to a complete halt. That means that the supply chains for everything from food, medicine, clothing, technology, toys, basically everything on which we've grown accustomed to relying for our comfortable lives would be disrupted. But how exactly could the Chinese government undertake such a sprawling and influential mega project without ensuring it would be safe? Wouldn't minds intelligent and creative enough to put up such a structure be able to foresee and account for the problems that lie ahead? You'd assume so, but you'd be wrong. The Three Gorges Dam was not built to handle the strong storms. Such a storm would collapse the dam, cause devastating amounts of destruction, kill tens of millions, and disrupt supply chains the world over. Unfortunately, we have no idea just how close to such a disaster we are. 